Hello, it's Genesee Henry with another book in a minute for you. Today's book is just going to grab you and force you to read it. It's that exciting of a story. It's called Sold on a Monday by Kirsten McMorris, and it takes place in 1931. What was America like back then? It was, in some ways, the best of times and the worst of times. We had mobsters and, and politicians at each other, uh, really not acting in the country's best interest. We have young people like our hero, Ellis and Lily, the heroine, who are feeling like the world's their oyster, they're gonna conquer the world of journalism. We have families who are just suffering under the grips of the depression. And so all this comes together to really create a wonderful story. The story really begins when Ellis takes a photo that he thinks is going to make the feature he's writing, just this will showcase and launch his, his uh, journalistic career. Unfortunately, he, he, he makes a mistake. He doesn't mean to, but he ma makes a mistake with the photo. And let me tell you about the photo. He took a picture out in the country of two young children, poor children, uh, shabbily dressed, sitting on rickety steps with a sign by them that reads, Children for Sale. And to Atlas, this was the story of America at that time, this uh, horrible grip of the Depression. The uh, story and the picture do go on to create quite a, a buzz in the journalistic world. It does launch Ellis's career, but it also has some terrible consequences for the people involved. And so Ellis and Lily uh, work very hard to right the wrongs that they think they created and to fix things for the people who are affected by the photo. Really, this is exciting. I may be not telling it in an exciting way, but the whole story is thrilling. You get to meet mobsters. You get to go to speakeasies. You get to see New York and, and just what it was like. You get a great feel for New York in the 1930s. So I think this is a whiz-bang story. Maybe a little far-fetched, but I, I know you'll enjoy it. And thank you to, the, to Ned Galley for supplying me with a review copy of the book. Um, thank you for listening. You can find me at jennabooks.com, and I'd love to connect with you on social media.